I'm Muskan Khandilwal and you're watching Indian Masterminds. Today, we have with us an IS officer who relishes multitasking. Besides being a successful bureaucrat, she's a physical fitness enthusiast, a doting mother of two children, has a powerful presence on social media, and now she's an author as well. She's Tripura's resident commissioner, Ms. Sonal Goyal, who secured 13th rank in the UPSC CSC 2008. Today, we will talk to her about her journey on her book, Nation Calling. So, welcome to Indian Masterminds, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank and you, congratulations on your launch of the first book. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, starting with, if you can share with us, what is the inspiration behind writing this book? Uh, I would say that the title itself, uh, the title which I have kept is like Nation Calling. Yeah. So, that is a commitment which I have tried to deliver and fulfill for my country and as part of my of course my service being in the IS I got the opportunity of working in two states Tripura hmm. and Haryana and in both the states I was primarily posted in the field postings and I got the opportunity of interacting with people interacting with the younger generation and also uh, see what is what are their issues and how I can contribute effectively so that feeling of an overwhelm and that feeling of a commitment that actually persuaded me to kind of pen down not only my experiences but also become a guide and a mentor for for the younger generation for the UPSC aspirants because it has been now almost like three years mm -hmm. that uh, through my social media platforms through my physical interactions through my uh, visits at various colleges and universities across the country, I have been interacting with them and I have been mentoring the civil services aspirants who are preparing for the UPSC, who are preparing for the state civil services examination. And that is how this notion was in my mind from past uh, almost an, an year mm -hmm. that uh, I am still not able to communicate and reach out to everyone. So I thought to have this kind of a book in which I am discussing not only about the strategy of the civil services examination, but also uh, uh, what if not civil services mm -hmm. and what actually it takes for uh, for a young gen, for, for the youth of the country who are the future powerhouse to contribute towards the nation building, to contribute towards uh, the society. And that is how this idea came in and then it took me almost... I would say five, six months mm -hmm. to uh, collate the experiences, mm -hmm. to jot down and it has been a, quite a rewarding experience and this book Nation Calling, a uh, holistic approach to UPSC civil services examination has been recently uh, launched. It has been unveiled by the Honorable Union Minister Sri Kiran Rijuji in presence of uh, the Vice Chancellor of Jamia Millia, Professor uh, Najma Akhtar, Madam, and uh, senior civil servants from different services, from students of Delhi University, mm -hmm. from academicians, from people working in government. So I'm really uh, thankful to everybody for their support, for for their blessings, and of course I feel that yes, this is my small contribution of giving back to the society of guiding and mentoring the youth of the country. That's really great, ma'am. So, you said that you have a book about strategies for UPSC CSE preparation. So, if you could like tell us some key takeaways that you have in your book. Mein hai. See, strategy is like, because this UPSC civil services examination is is quite a long-drawn process. Matlab, whenever I discuss with the students, I always tell them that Minimum, like one year before the prelims examination, you have to start preparing. It is the minimum. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the stage-wise preparation. So, prelims means an interview. So, it basically takes a minimum of two years. And if we talk about strategies, so basically when one is deciding to appear for civil services, so one thing is very important to understand that the purpose or the reason of being in civil services, like why... Uh, anyone wants to be in civil mm -hmm. services. This reason or why should be very important and clear to uh, someone's mind. 
and then my chapter in the beginning because i have actually uh, in my chapter in fact uh, because uh, i really uh, felt overwhelmed when i uh, was writing this when i was collating this so my initial chapter before the strategy is about the overall importance of civil services like. in the nation building and also the overall pattern of the upsc examination so that if somebody is actually willing to take this examination so one should be clear that what all it takes to be in civil services what is the importance and contribution of civil services and of course it is not a cake walk and uh, i also tell the students that clearing this examination is a very small aspect or a very small leg in your journey right. towards your nation calling towards nation building and of course once you qualify in the civil services and once you join your posting then it is altogether a different ball game mm. so my first chapter basically deals about the importance and the overview and then i have also uh, uh, given a chapter on the uh, insights gained and the lessons learned a very brief about my journey so i want the students to understand that what are the positives associated with the civil services like what are the opportunities which they are going to get and of course the challenges associated what are the cons what are the consequences of you know or i would say the occupational hazards mm. what are the occupational hazards of being in civil services so what are the challenges which they have to prepare in their mind so you know when we are talking about the strategy so initially this thing is very important that you be clear that uh, what is it that is the motivation which is forcing you to be in this uh, service hmm. and then when we talk about strategy so isme i have detailed three chapters which are specifically uh, dealing into each st stage so the prelims mains and intervals hmm. because the strategy for all three are not very similar hmm. they are not very different also but they have some unique things associated with the pattern so for example prelims is entirely a objective type right. so when we are talking about objective so you have this uh, csat you have mental aptitude along with the gs which was not there in my time when i appeared uh, in my uh, during my preparation 2006 and 2007 i gave two attempts so during that time we had one optional in the prelims but now the pattern is changed mm. and now of course in the mains also there is only one optional we had two optionals and my optionals were commerce and public administration so uh, the strategy is different and at least one year prior to that one has to start preparing and for example if a student is intending to prepare for say 24 prelims mm. so now we are in october so he or she already should have started preparation right and uh, when i talk to the aspirants i generally advise to them is that at least one year prior to the prelims you have to start your preparation mm. so one year would mean that say april may of 23 one should have started and initial 5 to 6 months are on the overall foundation link so overall foundation link would mean that you have a combined study of the entire syllabus mm. of the upsc for both prelims and mains mm. and that is on more on the conceptual clarity you know going through the syllabus reading the topics and right making your notes that is very important and then of course next 3 to 4 months should be dedicated towards your main strategy because mains may you get quite less time after your prelims right that time is very insufficient mm. so initially once you are preparing when you are preparing before your prelims you have some time devoted to your specifically to your mains preparation and in mains it is very important to have an understanding of the uh, topics as well as your ability to write hmm. ability to write effectively because this is totally subject right so aapko jitna pata hai usse usko kaise acche se likhna hai that is the trick of scoring good marks in the mains so wo tabhi hoga jab aapka khud ka revision acha ho when you have answer writing practice when you have repeated revisions when you have your own notes and by making notes i do not mean ki aap pura pura ko jo bhi material pad rahe hain jo bhi book pad rahe hain usko pura pura alag se likhna hai not like that everybody has a different way of studying so what i used to do is that i used to make like for example if i am reading a chapter i would i would read the chapter and then 
on uh, maybe the in the uh, initial part of the chapter i will make a slip and i will write the important points and attach staple with that that is how i used to prepare i used to prepare my notes for the revision and in mains it is very important that you have repeated revision as well as your answer writing practice mock mm-hmm. tests are very important and then of course uske baad jab prelims hoga to prelims se do teen mahine pehle you have to shift to your objective type preparation you have to prepare for your uh, mental aptitude for your csat that is very very important and of course prelims may sometimes it is not necessary that you are able to uh, know everything some questions you even attempt by way of elimination hmm. mcqs and of course there is a negative marking so one needs to be careful it is not required to attempt all questions in prelims whereas in mains i always suggest the aspirants that attempt every every question because mains mein there is no negative marking hmm. so this is how and then after prelims you appear for your mains and then after that you have your interview so this is how one has to uh, kind of uh, schedule their plan time management is very important when we are talking about any strategy your time management becomes very crucial what you are studying what you are reading is also very very important it is uh, not like any other examination that is why it is said that ups civil services is the mother of all examinations mm-hmm. in the country and people from iit iim people from home, good colleges universities people from hindi background uh, people from different languages from rural background everybody it's a level playing field mm-hmm. so one needs to understand how effectively they are able to utilize their time how uh, profoundly they are able to write and express mm-hmm. what they already know that is very important. your father asked you to keep a plan b yeah abhi upsc ka competition bhi bahut zyada hai so is plan b must for aspirants i rather advise students ki they are you know investing prime years of their youth hmm minimum 2 to 3 years koi bhi jo serious aspirant hai itna time lag jata hai so 2 years to examination ka ek saal pehle taiyari mein and then one year during the examination to lagta hai to and for example if you are not able to clear in maybe 2 or 3 years hmm. also then you are investing your 3 4 years of your prime list mein aap kuch alternative bhi kar sakte the so therefore this having a plan b in mind is very necessary because otherwise it will lead to demotivation hmm. If, then you will actually feel ki aapki attempts jitne aapko dene the wo attempts bhi ho gaye hain and you are nowhere and it will actually lead to frustration hmm. and there would so basically by plan b what i mean is not even some people criticize ki hum plan b rakhenge to hamara main focus hat jayega hmm. we would not be doing our 100% but i don't agree to that by plan b i mean that if you are not able to clear civil services mm. then jo aapka main jo purpose hai jo aapka uh, i use an acronym which i have mentioned in the book also vision goal plan and action vgpa hmm vgpa is vision goal plan and action so aapka jo overall vision hai life mein kya karna hai what is your overall orientation in the uh, in your life mm. journey if that is with you then if you are not reaching it through your civil services path then of course there would be some other option right so for example people ask me ki aapka plan b kya rehta for example aap ka nahi clear hota to mera plan bhi bahut clear tha ki main fir civil services ka agar nahi hota taiyari to corporate sector ka mera profile kyunki already i was doing i had i was a cs hmm. and i was doing my law so i would have joined a corporate sector profile and i al- already had some work experience when i was preparing and along with that for my inner calling of doing something good for the society i would have maybe set up my ngo okay or civil society organization and then do something good hmm. for the country for the people for hmm. the benefit of the people now also i am associated with few of the ngos who are okay. doing good work jo mujhe time lagta hai main unki activities hmm. mein jaati hu participate karti hu so that was my plan b so what i mean to say is that your overall vision and then goals are the achievable units so jo aapka overall jo vision hai usko break karenge achievable units are like ki 2 saal mein kya karna hai 3 saal mein kya karna hai 5 years mein kya karna hai hmm. and then plan is like how do you reach up to uh, the execution of those goals and then action hmm. your so your efforts so 
everything is incomplete or you will not be able to achieve unless you give your efforts into right. it right so therefore it is important that plan b isliye thoda sa mind mein hona zaruri hai ki aapka jo apne upar vishwas hai wo kam nahi hona chahiye mm-hmm. and then you are able to sail through the phases of self doubt and demotivation hmm. because jo bhi ek सिंसियर सिविल सर्विसेज का एक्सपेरेंट होता है उसकी लाइफ में डीमोटिवेशन की फेजेज आना मैंडेटरी है आई ऑलवेज टेल एक्सपेरेंट दैट इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग सीरियसली एंड इफ यू आर सिंसियरली गिविंग योर एफर्ट्स तो ये लो फेजेज ऑफ मोटिवेशन आएंगे ही आएंगे और अगर ये नहीं आ रहे तो इसका मतलब आप सीरियस नहीं हो दिस इज़ वेरी क्लियर राइट इफ़ यू आर नॉट गिविंग दोज हिकअप्स एंड दोज एप्रीहेंशन कि क्या होगा वेदर आई एम डूइंग राइट और नॉट देन डेफिनेटली इट मीन्स यू आर नॉट सीरियस अबाउट सो If you are serious and you are getting those those phases, so what is important is that you also know that how do you get overcome out of these phases. आपके ये जो hiccups हैं इससे आप कैसे you know आप कैसे बाहर आ रहे हो इसी के लिए आपका जो है your mental strength is also important. Mental health is very important now. Physical health के साथ साथ mental health and well-being is also very very important. So these are few things uh, you know which. I always uh, guide the aspirants to keep mm. in mind. Mm, that's really great, ma'am. Mm. So, in your book, you have described a uh, lot of anecdotes about your sixteen years of career. Yeah. Uh, so, can you please share a few incidents that may inspire the aspirants? So, in fact, uh, uh, there is one more aspect before I come to mm. uh, you know my journey. So, to make it more relevant, because मुझे लगता है कि मुझे clear किए हुए अभी काफी time हो गया. Right, in year plus हो गए since I'm in service. so to make the preparation uh, or the strategy more relevant and to have a broader perspective mm. i have interviewed uh, three uh, recent toppers okay 2022 upsc toppers mm. three of them who also have had a very inspirational kind of a journey and unki uh, journey and unki taraf se jo strategy tips hai wo bhi is book ke andar hai mm. and uh, the officers now of course they are undergoing training yeah, and yes. uh, I shared them about uh, my book launch. They were also very happy and delighted. Even though I wanted to give to them personally, but right now they are in all in uh, in their training academy. Yeah, Labasna. In Labasna. So Suresh Tiwari, who okay. is uh, who became a sensation hmm. because his journey has been so inspiring that uh, despite his physical disabilities, he cleared this. And uh, I met Suresh in JNU okay. in uh, in a program, and then. I was so overwhelmed to listen to his inspiring story. So Suraj's interview is here. Then there is one more officer, Deepika Agarwal. She is from Sikkim, mm. and uh, her journey is also very inspiring. And also one more officer, Dwij Goyal. Mm. So all three have, in quite a quite amount of detail, they have shared their own journey, their strategies, and their trips. So I think for the UPSC aspirants, even this chapter is very very important. and then of course it is uh, the uh, my journey so the the title of the journey like the my chapter is my journey navigating pathways of achievement from academia to administration hmm. so from academia to administration because uh, as i mentioned ki mera initially mein kabhi man nahi matlab aisa koi orientation nahi tha ki civil services mein jana hai but then of course i think it is destiny and that is your inner calling that uh, inspires you and that is how i came into civil mm-hmm. services and in my journey in fact i have bahut zyada detail mein maine wo chapter nahi rakha because i felt ki meri journey already uh, jo hai na through my social media mm-hmm. through the youtube videos and all people are uh, quite aware right. about that so maine wo bahut hi briefly wo chapter mm-hmm. uh, uh, ko likha hai and uh, that is basically uh, covering the journey in both the states in tripura and haryana because i worked in tripura for initial 7 and a half years then i came to haryana on intercardio deputation then i joined back tripura and then since last year i am posted as the resident commissioner so wo journey bahut uh, uh, challenging bhi rahi hai uh, staying in tripura initially uh, i had actually to make lot of adjustments because I never stayed out of my home. Also, hmm. like Lavasna was a first hostel for me, so always stayed in uh, the northern part of the country. So it's a very beautiful state. Tripura is a very beautiful state in the northeastern part. Uh, people are very loving and people are very warm. So वहाँ पे जितना भी मेरा postings रहा, my uh, agenda was 
very clear it was to interact with the people and work for the society mm. that was there so i used to feel i used to tour on field my first posting was in district dhalai i was mm. sta mombasa so they were very remote it was a predominantly a tribal uh, village committee uh, area subdivision so i used to tour i uh, interacted with the uh, tribal people living in the distant hamlets mm. and during one of my like administrative camps and visits i found that there are some hamlets jisme there are connectivity issues okay. so it is like way back in 2010 mm. almost 13 14 years back that people are not accessible because you don't have motorable roads up to the uh, last mile last okay. mile connectivity so we used to walk on foot Uh, for seven, eight, ten kilometers, reach up to those areas. Mm. My team used to be there, and then we also found that the basic services like uh, the health, EHC, the school, the Anganwadi centers, they are not working properly. Okay. So I took the help of local BSF, mm. which was posted there. We uh, made request to their commanders, and they allowed the stay facility for the. Uh, for the officials who are working in the school mm. who are working in the anganwadi center who are working in the primary health center and then they used to commute from monday to friday they used to stay in the bsf facility and then they used to come back on weekend for for their family okay. then go back again so by this mechanism actually there was this revival of these services in the remote areas mm. which was very satisfying kind of an experience and then we did in one para one habitat one habitation then we did in different different okay. other habitations almost i think seven or eight mm-hmm. of them mm-hmm. had similar kind of issues so even if it is like 250 to 300 people then also your small efforts and initiatives are able to bring some change in some positive change in their lives and this is what is the uh, i would say the beauty and the opportunity being given by the civil services and then of course throughout my journey there have been lot many learning experiences i would say ki aisa bhi kafi kuch hai jo ki main karna chahti thi but main nahi kar payi because there is a paraphernalia in which a civil servant has to work hmm. things are uh, not very easy right. there are many things which you want to do of course maine wo negative cheeze kam likhi hai because i am i am a person who always tries to remember the positive aspect of life and uh, to eliminate for even from my thinking process uh, the negative things associated so wo positive things hi maine isme zyada highlight ki hai and then of course my work experience in haryana and haryana me uh, my posting in faridabad jhajjar gurgaon gurgaon so and in gurgaon when i was there it was a peak covid time and then how we Uh, rose to the occasion how we actually helped people mm-hmm. fight with resilience and uh, in jhajjar it was it has been a patriarchy dominated district so after many many years they had seen a lady uh, officer a woman officer as a deputy commissioner mm-hmm. so initially when i used to tour so they were not even uh, you know realize that yes uh, she is a lady officer they they were it, it was a surprise for them to see a woman officer as a deputy commissioner so i think but it is your uh, intention your genuineness hmm. and uh, how you communicate with people and of course your teams right your team building exercise is very very important and hmm. they are the ones who actually and also this is very important that you know that you are there for a limited time because our jobs are transferable our postings we we are never sure so right. i have also tried to build sustainable systems mm. so by that i mean that if i am transferred say for example from this place mm. very soon then there should be people there should be some systems which are uh, taking the responsibility and things are carried on right that is also one important thing right. which i always used to try yes so all in all it has been a very great journey a great fulfilling journey yeah. of course with some uh, of uh, the reflections i mm. would say that yes this could have been done in a better way like this and ek kuch khali pan hai kahin kahin pe ki hum usko us tarike se aur acha kar sakte the agar ye hua hota to hmm 
that realization is definitely there that things could have been much better and there are some things which even i could not do which remain unfulfilled they are there yes that's great ma'am so thank you so much ma'am for uh, giving your time this was really a very inspirational talk i must say and we so hope much. that uh, this book uh, reach more and more aspirants so that they can uh, get a very good strategy given by you thank you so much and my best wishes to all the aspirants every journey has to begin my dear friends with a small step mm. so don't hesitate in taking that small step keep believing in your efforts keep giving your best and in the end i would just like to mention that do not limit your challenges challenge your own limits challenge your own limits keep challenging your own limits and of course align your personal goals with the goals of the nation and society and resonate with this call of nation calling nation calling i hope this book would act as a guide and a mentor for you all my best wishes to all of you thank you so much thank you so much ma'am